what's up so today I'm gonna be filming this makeup tutorial for you guys it's a back to school makeup glam makeup tutorial basically if you don't like wearing a lot of makeup you're not gonna like this but I do so I want to throw it all on my face um, so yeah, if y'all want to see this full face makeup look, then go ahead and keep watching. Um, I do use a lot of different things, but I'll have everything I'm using down below. Of course, you could switch it out with whatever you have. It's probably more for like college, high school kind of people. And yeah, I was super excited to do this. I had a lot of fun doing it. Let me know if you guys want a drugstore um, makeup tutorial for back to school so I can know to do that. Just thumbs up this video if you want that. And yeah, um, I ended up throwing on my glasses because I love the way it looked with this look. But of course you could wear it without glasses. Um, I'll have my glasses if you want to know where I got them from. Link down below. Um, this is what it looks like without my glasses. Nice bronzy eye. Really glowy skin. Super full coverage. My face is beat. And so yeah, if you want to see this makeup look, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, first we're starting off by priming the skin. I'm taking my Hangover RX primer from Too Faced and I'm just spraying that all over. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and just use this in my T-zone. Go ahead and start concealing under my eyes. I'm taking my NARS concealer, the one in the pot, and I'm also taking the Stila concealer from my foundation stick, and I'm just mixing the two shades and placing this under my eyes. I really like the mixture because the NARS one has more coverage, but the other one is real creamy and it's a better color, and so I've just been loving mixing them. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that all in with my Equal Tools sponge. And next I'm also mixing two things for my foundation. First I'm taking my Stila Stick Foundation and I'm just going to go ahead and draw this all over my face. And this stuff does not lie when it says it has a powder finish. It's a really, really dry, like powdery finish, which is nice. But I like to mix in the Dior Foundation just to add some more liquidness to it so it has a better time blending. But I love the coverage of the Stila one and also the finish. So the Dior one just helps me kind of blend it in with my sponge a little bit better. Then to go ahead and start contouring, I'm taking my ColourPop contour stick in the shade Dove and I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheeks, my nose, my forehead. This just helps to where I don't have to contour later on, just kind of bronze up the skin because I already have the contouring down with the cool toneness. <laughs> go ahead and highlight my face I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Warm and I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes and also the center of my face to highlight and then just blending that all in with my sponge you do not have to wear this much makeup guys <laughs> I just wanted to go all out today I wanted to feel really glam so I applied literally everything I could. <laughs> then to go ahead and start highlighting, I'm taking my um, Cover Effects Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. And oh my gosh, guys, these are so beautiful. They're so powerful. They shine through like powder. When you bake, you'll see me bake later on. And you'll see that my skin is still glowy from this. Then taking my Too Faced Born This Way powder, I'm just going to go ahead and bake with this. And this is the first time I like heavily baked with this under my eyes and all over my face. And I really love it. It's like not too drying to where you can't use it under your eyes. So you could still use it under your eyes. But you could also use it on your face and you don't get like super dry. But it still like mattifies you if you know what I'm saying. So I've really been liking it. And I'm also going to sharpen up my contour with this. 
um, just so it will help with contouring later. Now starting off with the eyes, I'm taking Chickadee from Makeup Geek and I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. And I just wanted a really like yellow toned powder to use as my transition shade so I'm using this one and a fluffy brush. Then taking Zulu from my Masquerade palette which is just a warm brown. I'm just packing that into the crease in the outer corner. Then I'm going to go ahead and take Chickadee and place that in my inner corner because this is when I decided I wanted to go ahead and do a halo eye. So I'm packing that into the inner corner and then also the brown and then taking this really pretty bronzy orange shade I'm gonna apply this all over the lid and it's from the same palette the masquerade one Then taking fudge from Anastasia, which is just a really warm brown I'm packing that onto the outer corner to go ahead and deepen everything up yes. And like I said, this is a halo eye, so I'm going to go ahead and take that in the inner corner as well. And I'm using a pointed kind of fluffy brush, and it really helps to do this. And then I'm also taking the same brush and just connecting the two through the crease. And I didn't think that lid shade was bright enough, so I'm taking this foiled one from Makeup Geek, and I'm just applying that on top. It's basically the same color. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe away my bake since it's been baking for a while. Now moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking fudge, the same color we used on top, and I'm just applying that to my lower lash line with an angle brush. And then just blending it out with the same shades we used on top, the orangey kind of colors, and just blending that out with a pencil brush. Now I wanted to go ahead and try this TARDIS eyeliner, and it was in the color bronze, but it actually just turned out being a brown shade. I thought it was going to be more of like a bronze, you know, <laughs> like with glitter or something in it, but it wasn't. And I just attempted a wing with this. And now I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face using my Becca Sunlit Bronzer. I've been loving this. And so like I said, we don't really have to contour since we already did that with the cream product. So I'm just cleaning everything up using some more translucent powder and my sponge. And this is another reason why I love this sponge. It's so sharp and precise. Now for blush, I'm taking Max um, Lovejoy and I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks and also a little bit on my nose to even everything out. Now for highlight today, I wanted to go with the gold, so I'm taking Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I'm just going to apply this to the highest points of my face. And I really went all out with the whole highlighting today. I really wanted to look super glowy, so I basically put it everywhere. And nope, that still wasn't enough, so I sprayed my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and went in for a second layer because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off that bake that we had under our contour. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my face using my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. And I'm just going to douse my whole face with this. So we look nice and glowy, but still matte. <laughs> Then going over that with the sponge just so our skin looks like skin again and it just helps that setting spray set into the skin. Now for mascara, I'm taking my Lash Paradise Mascara, but first I'm going to go ahead and tight line before I apply that. And then I'm applying that on the top and lower lashes. Now for lipstick, I'm taking my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Besso and I'm just applying that. Um, I didn't show, but I did also put some highlighter in the center of my eyes, the tear duct. And that is pretty much it for the look. I hope that y'all liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe at the end and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!
Hey guys, what's up?